good y'all it's the empress lives welcome to my channel if you are new if you are returning what's good my loves this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising venus as well as north node thank you so much for all the love the likes the shares the subscribes i truly appreciate y'all for real for real but let's go ahead and get into the messages here so uh what i was getting for you guys is i feel like um someone could have been uh saying that you were uh, mentally insane or that you were crazy all right um that your theories were crazy or your beliefs were crazy but i'm definitely getting uh y'all could be like well who the crazy one now okay so um i'm definitely getting that uh someone from your past like i said could have said that you were dealing with some type of mental health issues this could be people in your family um that you didn't think things through or that you were uh, irrational or that you weren't logical all right um but i'm definitely getting that uh this was because these family members or these people had devil energy towards you all right um i'm definitely getting rejection some of you guys could have felt rejected by these people it could be a capricorn um a leo a leo moon or a virgo all right um some of you guys it could be a libra but i'm definitely getting uh justice is uh being served at this time so i feel like it is karma for um these people who are calling you crazy or whoever was calling this person crazy or was calling uh you know their theories crazy or wasn't you know believing it who uh whoever this is i'm definitely getting that uh you know the roles have reversed i feel like now these people are dealing with mental health issues all right um uh, some type of confusion all right i'm definitely getting they could be dealing with uh devil energy or being spiritually affected themselves um and they could be looking at this uh you know the person who was crazy or the person who had weird theories i feel like now they're looking at this person as a true philosopher all right um that they had devil energy towards for no reason but i'm definitely getting this is karma all right uh, for these people who are at war with this philosopher or who are at war with this person who um you know, uh, I'm getting like somebody who was like a conspiracy theorist or people are like, oh, those are just conspiracies. I'm getting uh, now that these people are dealing with uh, their own mental health issues and therapy's not working or, you know, certain uh, certain things that uh, society tells us to go towards, like uh, therapy, counseling, taking uh, pills. I feel like now that these things aren't working, religion's not working. Um, I feel like now they, uh, these people could be looking to you or to whoever this is, this philosopher, all right, um, thinking about, uh, you know, researching about the philosophies that they held on to. Okay, um, yeah, I'm definitely getting some, uh, some of you guys could be realizing that, um, you know, certain philosophies that you were studying or certain philosophies that you believed in or went by, um, these were uh, brought up uh, by or these were founded by racist people or people that uh, didn't even like your people or something like that. All right, um, or uh, molesters or uh, rapists or what, uh, murderers even. So I'm definitely getting um, some of you guys could be releasing, um, you know, dealing with the with the mental health field here. All right. Or dealing with someone who uh, could be like a therapist or a counselor, because I'm definitely getting you guys could be realizing that um, it was an attack on uh, psychics or it was an attack on intuitives or empaths. OK, so psychology could have been discovered or founded um, in order to stop psychics or magicians or, um, you know, people that uh, knew their power. OK, so I'm definitely getting. Uh, you could be discovering this at this time or people could be discovering this and could be realizing that they were at war with the wrong people all right so i feel like a lot of people are at war with uh like i said uh I, I was about to say warlocks so like people that were uh that knew that they were magical or that knew that there was more to uh the world than religion or you know what society was saying as far as like psychology and things like that i'm definitely getting um obviously you Scorpio okay you delve into the darkness okay you and you like look that's my that's my uh that's my alley that's my field okay so I'm definitely getting you guys could be realizing that um you know people didn't want to offer you things or people were denying you of things or people were uh treating you a certain type of way because of your beliefs or because of who you were all right um but now I'm getting these people are seeing that you were a stable offer here that you were stable all along that you're immensely stable and that it was actually the people that uh you know that were at war with you these people were experiencing uh being possessed or um you know dealing with some type of devil energy or some type of low vibrational energy here um but they were rejecting you or rejecting your theories or rejecting um you know the things that you were saying here calling you crazy or or saying that you didn't know what you was talking about or uh that's that's fairy tales or that's nonsense okay and i'm getting now people see like oh damn okay this is their destiny this is a part of their purpose here um this person has a lot of, uh, a lot of love for the people here 
Um, I'm also getting that someone could be realizing that you're a destined artist or, you know, this could be what you're realizing about someone. But I'm definitely getting uh, someone is like, a, I just heard a big star or a big deal. All right. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody who people were sleeping on or somebody who people were like, oh, they're crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're, you know, uh, they, they need therapy. I'm getting therapy ain't working for them or they need um, or they're a devil and I'm getting they're the ones who's actually attacking and uh, being hateful and, and spewing hatred. Um, but I'm getting that this philosopher is actually just uh, helping to heal here or, you know, this... Um you know, this intuitive is actually helping people heal. And I feel like now these people that were at war with this person, it could be an empress, a Libra. All right. Um, now people are saying that this person is receiving some type of justice here, or you could have Libra in your chart. But, you know, after being emotionally bullied, after people calling you crazy, after people called you a devil, all right, after people had war with you, they denied you, rejected you, crucified you for your beliefs, I'm definitely getting, um, you released some type of contract here, all right, um, you know, where you were tied in with these people, and I feel like you realize, no, y'all tied in with the devil, I need to get away from you, okay, to go towards a stable offer here, I'm definitely getting now someone is stable after walking away from people that were calling them a devil, and, uh, they, you know, and I feel like they were actually devils. All right. Um, but yeah, so for your pre-channel message, a tyrant has been running game on an entire group from summer to fall, but that is ending at this time. All right. Now someone sees who the, uh, who the real evil ones were. Um, a father, a counselor, a therapist, a beautician, all mad uh, because I feel like these people were purposely trying to compromise someone um, because they knew that this person's fate was to marry wealthy. All right. So someone's fate uh, could be to marry a wealthy vocalist, singer or a lyricist. Um, yeah. Someone who is destined to be a boss here. All right. Um, yeah. And I feel like because someone made a wise choice to um, come into union with this boss or with this emperor or with this empress here, I'm definitely getting um, these people have been, uh, you know, they've been the evil ones being tyrants trying to stop a union from happening because they knew someone's fate they knew that they were destined to um, marry this wealthy singer here or this uh, vocalist all right so i'm definitely getting haters all right this could be people that uh you know didn't want to offer you nothing in the past or people that didn't want to give to this person or didn't want to propose this person or love this person or uh, work with this person um or do anything for this person i'm getting they rejected everything they rejected this person's thoughts theories philosophies um and all they did was say you're a devil but they were being the ones that were emotionally abusive or bullying or um being physically abusive all right so i'm definitely getting it's karma now whoever was being rejected in the past now they're going to be rejected all right yeah i feel like now uh someone is realizing it was a good move to make to go towards this uh queen of pentacles here because as they said they are uh successful and stable yeah they're no longer feeling unworthy all right so whatever this uh this queen of pentacles or this empress did to heal themselves or whatever their beliefs were um it, it shifted their energy now they're successful and stable and i'm getting a virgo could be looking like well damn i was calling him a devil but look okay or a Capricorn or a Leo or a Leo moon. All these people could have been uh, rejecting this person here, calling them a devil, calling them a liar, calling them a false teacher, a false prophet. All right, crazy. All right, I'm definitely getting that. But now they see they're emotionally stuck on this person because they're like, damn, that they manifested what they said. They're the queen of pentacles. I see that they're moving into success. I see that they're more stable than they've ever been. Okay, after walking away from us. So who is the real evil ones here? All right. Yeah, I feel like now these people are afraid and they're emotionally stuck on this empress or this queen of pentacles here. Um, yeah, I feel like now they're feeling unmotivated and uninspired. OK, these could have been people that, um, you know, in the in the recent past, they, you know, when uh, this empress was feeling down or when this person was feeling down on their luck and everyone was at war against them. I'm getting people were inspired and and they were, you know, working on their creative passions and they were feeling like, yeah, I'm going to be successful and I'm going to beat out the empress. I'm going to beat out the empress. And what I'm getting is now they see that going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe or going to war with the Empress was for no reason because the Empress is rising, okay, at this time. And it's karma. It's, it's their justice here, all right? Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting uh, someone here is going into hermit mode, all right? And I feel like a lot of people are emotionally stuck on this Empress here. Hold on. All right, so let's see who you could be dealing with. Someone could have the first or last initial J or C, all right, um, D or B. David could be someone's first name, uh, John or Johnny, Joe, 
Casey. Um, someone's name could be Justice as well. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, it's divine order here for someone to. I feel like someone has uh, someone beat like um, an addiction here where they could have OD'd. All right, I'm getting due to their uh, beliefs here, due to their philosophies, they were able to beat addiction here after going into hermit mode. Yeah, I feel like um, this could have been after someone got divorced or released a marriage. All right. Uh, yeah, someone was married to an abuser and I feel like this person uh, could have OD'd, you know, staying married to this person or um, if they didn't heal from something, from some type of addiction. And I'm getting now people are seeing that this person was able to heal after being abused and disrespected. OK, so I'm getting after a marriage ended with an abuser. Someone ended up being disrespected by the masses or by multiple people here. People called them crazy. People uh, was talking shit about their, you know, like I said, the things that they believed in or the things that they spoke about philosophies and I'm getting now the tables have turned here yeah this person is now emotionally unavailable to uh to these people here all right um yeah I'm definitely getting yeah I feel like somebody was like oh best friend I'm getting now it's like no nah, we not best friends no nah, we not cool you was trying to use best friend best friend as a weapon or a tool against me yeah um I'm definitely getting somebody may have had to release a false uh husband or a wife here all right, someone who used to uh, cry to manipulate, and I'm getting this person was never happy in uh, in this marriage. Yeah, they were just a demonic distraction here. All right, um, but yeah, let go. They ass, they did you dirty. Okay, so I'm definitely getting someone uh, follow divine guidance and let this person go. All right, um, because I feel like somebody here was, uh, yeah, somebody gained clarity that whoever this was was not their divine counterpart. All right, um, this past person or this past marriage. But I'm getting that people didn't want this person to break free from them or, you know, this past person didn't want them to break free even though they cheated on them. Yeah, this could be a father, okay? Yeah, I feel like this father knew that this uh this wife or whoever this was was blessed, but they cheated on them anyway. All right. Um and they could have uh yeah, I feel like they did they did uh whoever this was dirty here. Um yeah, and I feel like someone is seeing the truth that that's not, you know, that was not their divine counterpart. All right. Um they were just manipulative, all right? Someone could be a cosmetologist or someone could do hair. All right. Um but let's see. Some of you guys could be dealing with a sailor, okay? This could be someone who's in the Navy. Um, somebody could be a sex worker, okay, and a sailor, or somebody could have been a sex worker for a sailor. Okay, yeah, I feel like this was a part of someone's spiritual journey to go through this, all right? Someone being, like, I'm getting someone was either a sailor and was secretly hooking up with a sex worker or a sex worker was, um, or a sailor was secretly being a sex worker on the side with someone in the medical field, all right? Uh, look, okay, <laughs> I'm getting somebody could have seen this or got some type of uh, intuitive wisdom about this, some type of guidance, and I'm getting that's what put this person, uh, you know, on their spiritual path, on their spiritual journey someone definitely went into hermit mode and now they're stable yeah I feel like now someone can travel all right um yeah someone definitely could be um you know manifesting um uh some type of position in the entertainment business here all right yeah somebody found out the truth about someone in the medical field a sailor all right um yeah and I feel like these people are now emotionally stuck on this person after calling them crazy all right. After, uh, you know, causing some type of war or havoc in their life after uh, bringing war to them. Um, yeah, I feel like people are seeing they have clarity that now this uh, they see that this person's blessings are coming in. So, you know, who was the real evil ones here and who was actually the philosopher? I'm definitely getting a new uh, a new generation, um, a new generational philosopher. All right. New philosophies based off of the truth and not based off of um, more racist people said. All right. But anyways, that's all for now. Until next time.